now we'll see other way of creating a big member so I will be taking this just type create dot zf dot zl and here you can give some new uh, PDS name that is uh, something called as proc lib I'm saying and then you can type this the same member okay and you can delete this okay and enter now it will be asking you do you want me to create the proc library PDS first and then create a member why because that proc library PDS is not there and it is asking you to create it then you can directly save one do you want me to use the same properties or do you want to specify the properties I'll be saying use the same properties of this basically whatever that has been created and click enter so you can see create PS has been created now you go back and uh, type 3.4 and see proclip okay enter and if you see the properties you can see it has been created successfully and also the member was also created so this is another way of doing a or creating a member the first way was using s option and in the second way was using create.zf and .zl when you press enter it will be asking you to select the member name along with the PDS and the next option was the same create dot dot zf and dot zl and you'll be giving the member name that is when when you wanted to create the member within the same PDS and another way of doing it is create dot zf dot zl and it will be asking you where do you want if you wanted to store this into a new PDS and a new same member name then you can use the last final option that we have used okay